As always, we end Sheep in the Big City with a ranting Swede. It makes me so mad. Why do people call these meatballs? They're not balls. A ball you can play with. The ball is round and fun. The ball bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. This, it, it goes to pieces if you try to hit it with a tennis racket. It doesn't even hurt if you kick it. These are meat lumps. These are lumps, not the balls. I can't understand that. And these are my own people doing this. I hang my head in shame. Thank you, ranting Swede. Once again, Sheep in the Big City ends with a ranting Swede. You know what makes me mad? It's the way you people think I'm always gonna come out here and start ranting and shouting and screaming. I have a tender side. I could sing a ballad or talk about flowers blooming up in Lapland, but no! You think I am only going to rant? Well, that's it. No more ranting for you! I'm never going to rant again! Absolutely no more rants! Oops. Thank you, Ranting Swede. If sheep in the big city is the main course, then without question, our dessert is the Ranting Swede. I tell you one thing, one thing that really stings my lutefisk, and that is plaid. You heard me right, plaid. The fabric with the checks and the stripes and it doesn't know what it is. Now, actually, I've got to tell you, it's not really every plaid, because a nice Stuart Tartan or something like that, that could be attractive, too. I'm talking about the so-called <coughs> buffalo plaid, which I've never seen in a bottle of buffalo in my life. Never once. Once on a reindeer in a very cold night, but that was it. Never on a buffalo. It makes no sense. Thank you, Ranting Swede! Back by popular demand, everybody's favorite Ranting Swede! The Ranting Swede! I tell you one thing that cooks my meatballs. I went into a restaurant and ordered some fish, and I said to the waitress, hey, there's something wrong with my herring. And she said, well, go to an ear doctor. So I did, and I came back, and the herring tasted just as awful as before. Although I have to tell you, the doctor's fish was pretty good. Although the ambiance was a little better in the restaurant, I had to say, they had a beautiful view. You could see all the boats out in the harbor, but that didn't change the fact that the food was awful. I couldn't have said it better myself, Ranting Swede. You know, nothing says it's the end of Sheep in the Big City like a Ranting Swede. I tell you it gets my goat. Have you ever seen a piano? It's got 88 keys and I only have 10 fingers. And every key makes a different note. I want to play the piano. I have to invite over eight friends. And that's two extra fingers left doing nothing. And all the friends, and they want some snacks and some chips and some cheese curls. And they want some shrimp ola cola. Hey, how many shrimp ola cola? I don't know what that is. And I'm from the Sweden. Maybe I'll find out later in this season. It's ridiculous. They should have just 10 keys on a piano and leave it at that. Charming as always, Ranting Swede. And here's a special clearance day, Ranting Swede. What is it with these crisper drawers in the refrigerator? And they don't even work. I put some Olympus soggy celery in there, and the next morning came back and it wasn't crisp at all. It was just as limp as ever. And I'll tell you what makes a bad breakfast, it's limp soggy celery. And who even wants a refrigerator? This big cold thing takes up half my kitchen, cold right there in my kitchen. I came from Sweden to get away from the cold. I don't want the cold in my kitchen. I want to be warm. Somebody hug me. Oh yeah, baby. Ranting sweet. Now let's hear from our resident ranting Swede! The weirdest thing happened to me the other day. Someone comes up to me and says, Hey, Ranting Swede, how do you juggle your job, your house, and your family? And I'm thinking, it's hard enough just to have those things, yet alone juggle them. Oh, the house is not a big house, but it's awfully heavy. And my family, that's five people if you count the pets, and they're not small pets either. I know it's not about strength, it's about timing and balance. I know, I learned that in the circus. But I was on that trapeze, I wasn't a juggler. What do these people want from me? How ranty can you get? Hey kids, how about a little ranting Swede? 
I'll tell you something that steams my clams. Supermarkets. I mean, what's so super about supermarkets? They can't fly through the air. They don't have x-ray vision. They don't rescue damsels in distress. They look to me like plain old ordinary mortal markets. They should say ordinary mortal markets. Come kick me. I can't do anything about it. I mean, it's just ridiculous. And another thing, if they have chocolate milk, why can't they have chocolate hamburgers? Oh, yeah! Now that's what I call ranting. And now, a quiet moment of introspection from the ranting Swede. I'll tell you one thing that scrambles my eggs, but good. Answering machines. I got one just the other day, and I hooked it up just like this ad in the instructions, and then I said, hey, answering machine, you like my new pants? And it just sat there. And I said, well, will I ever find love? And it just sat there. And I said, well, maybe I'll need your question. What's the best automobile for someone in my price range? And it just sat there. Now that's not an answering machine. That's a just sitting there machine. Ah, uh, rantings to live by. Thank you, ranting Swede. Ladies and gentlemen, what would you say to a little ranting Swede to end the big show? I'll tell you something that really steals my herbicap. cap. I'm walking down the street, and all of a sudden there's a sign flashing in my face uh, saying, Don't walk. Don't walk? What am I supposed to do? Are you going to buy me a car so I can drive? Or maybe a motor scooter? And... Wait, now it says walk? Oh, the crazy sign can't even make up its mind. I can't stand the vishy-voshy sign. Oh, a stop sign. There's a sign with oomph. Hot dog. That's ranty. It's not over yet, folks. We still got the ranting Swede. I'll tell you one thing that really clips my begonias. Coffee tables. Is every beverage in the world gonna want its own table now? Oh, uh, here's the coffee table. Here's the tea table. Oh, watch out. Here's the lemon-flavored seltzer water table. Where is it all going to end? I drink both root beer and diet root beer. There's going to be no place in my house for my shoes. And another thing. If they can put a man on the moon, why can't they leave him there? The ranting sweet, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, the epitome of wit and wisdom, the Ranting Swede. I would like to dedicate today's rant to Timmy McPherson. I tell you someone who really pan fries my veal cutlet, that Timmy McPherson. Oh, not the one you're thinking of. The other one. The annoying one. I was coming into the room. Do, 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 do. I'm Timmy. You're not Timmy. I'm Timmy. Do, 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 do. Well, I'll tell you one thing, Mr. Timmy, so-called McPherson. You make me want to run. I thank you, and America thanks you. Ladies and gentlemen, what would you say to a little ranting Swede to end the big show? You know what makes me real mad and angry? Everything! Ha, 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 ha! That's ranting! Hey, let's end tonight's show with a ranting Swede! Hello, I'm very pleased to be with you tonight. I am the Ranting Swede, and if you have enjoyed my rants over the times, I wonder if I could interest you in my new collection of the Swede Rants. It contains some of my funniest and rantiest rants, including at one time uh, when that thing happened to me. Swede. Yeah, what? Yes? Uh, yes, Ranting narrator? Swede, I'm afraid you're really not allowed to sell your products on our show. What do you mean I'm not allowed to sell my products? What about private public maple syrup? And what about sheep special lanolin cream for facial beautiness? Don't you lower your little Lisa Rental live in large contemporary clutch curtain on me available for $24.95 at all better stores? I know where you're going with this run. Ah, 
this kind of thing is incredibly unfair. You know, I'll tell you what else. It's because I'm not a Norwegian. Ah, oh, I see this coming from a long way away. Forces, ugly forces gathering against me just because I can rant as no one can. You're all jealous. Well, that's our show, folks. Now all that's left is... <laughs> is... is... Uh, ranting Swede. You know what really installs my aluminum siding? Sometimes when I'm walking down the street and I run into someone I haven't seen in years, and he says, what are the chances of that? What are the chances of that? I haven't seen you in years, and immediately you want me to do some kind of difficult mathematical calculation? Do you the math yourself, Mr. Lazy Pants? Maybe if you stopped quizzing people on statistics all the live long day, they'd come by and visit you more often. And another thing. Kiwi fruit look unusual. Ready. 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 I need a What do you say to a small dose of a ranting Swede to end the show? You know what really gets my gut cheese? Everyone always are telling me to shave the whales! Shave the whales! Shave the whales! Shave the whales! Well, what's the matter with the whales? Can't they shave themselves? I have to shave myself! Or they have two fancy sideburns or a goatee. Oh, I can't shave all this! Have you ever seen a whale? They're huge! I haven't got time to shave a whale! I can barely get to my legs! Gotta love that ranting sweet! Scream, you scream, we all scream for the ranting Swede. I'll tell you something that blackens my red snapper. Cuticles! Oh, they're not even cute. They ought to call them little stringy finger thingicles. With their little beady eyes staring up on you. Okay, they don't really have eyes. That's true, but if they did, they would be your beady eyes. And, oh, go ahead, pull me. I want to give you pain. I want to make your fingers sore. Well, I you make me want to rant. Cuticle. Someone to have some hand cream. Nice work, ranting Swede. I don't think a Norwegian could come close. Well, anyway, at the end of every episode, we like to spend a little time with our own ranting Swede. You know what really shreds my sensitive documents? People say we should lower taxes. Lower taxes? If we lower it too much, the whole state will flood. What about all those people living in Houston and Dallas and Amarillo? Oh, sure, for the people who they have their two-story houses, they'll be fine. They can always go upstairs, and maybe that's where the family room is anyway. But what about the people who only have one-story houses or cars with short tires? It's not fair! You want ranty? You got ranty! Due to a scheduling conflict, tonight we present a ranting Norwegian! Hello, I am the ranting Norwegian. I do not know what all the hubbub in Sweden is about, but here in Norway, we do not have all too terribly much to rant about. I just got a new little car and oh boy is it a zippy one. It goes vroom vroom like, like that and we get the whole family in the car on a Sunday and a vroom up and down our little block. Thank you. Thank you, ranting Norwegian. My fluffy bunny could have done a better job. Let's give it up for the ranty, ranty, ranting Swede. I tell you something that plants my ornamental bulbs two inches deep. When people come up, you say, huh, well, it isn't it the small world? Ever try to fit the world into an envelope? Even one of those big manila ones, which incidentally do not come from the Philippines. You couldn't even fit the world into a large walk-in closet, such as I have in my apartment. It's that sea depending to keep the molds away. You know, I had a coat in there for over five years, and it came out looking just yes beautiful. But small world, that's crazy! Now, snow peas, they're small. Weird! But Randy. Let's give it up for the randiest 
Swede this side of Sweden, the Ranting Swede! Well, here it is, the end of the show, and time for the Ranting Swede. I guess I'm not good enough to rant at the beginning of the show, or even in the middle of the show, or sometime between the beginning and the middle of the show, the middle of the show, which is not the word in English I know, so don't bother telling me. Oh, I'm just something you say for the end, something so you can get up and go out to the kitchen and get a snack. Well, don't ignore me. You can't ignore me. I'm too loud and angry to ignore. I will rant it. Oh, forget you. Now, that's a ranty rama. Hey, I've got an idea. Let's end tonight's show with a ranting Swede. I'll tell you something that tips my valet parking attendant good. People coming up to me and saying, I'm full of hot air. I'll show you full of hot air. <laughs> there, that's what I look like, full of hot air. That's the trouble with the world today. People don't know what they're talking about. Talking like they knew what they're talking about, everything they're talking about. I knew a little something about hot air, because I used to be a balloon captain. <laughs> And so Renty. Hey, let's chat with our resident Renting Swede. I'll tell you what really steams my wrinkled blouses. And people come up to me and say, Hey, you've got the hungry bobcat on your head. Like I don't know that. What business is it of theirs anyway? I could walk around with anything on my head that I want. It's a free country, isn't it? And how do they know the cat's named Bob in the first place? And what? Ah! There's a Bob cat on my head! Ah! I still hate it when people tell me that, though. Ah! Ah! Can't get enough of those funky rats. Looks like it's time once again for a visit from the Ranting Swede! You know what really shaves my house cat in preparation for a veterinary procedure? When people come up to me, I can't believe how often this happens too. They come up and they say, and they've got this look in their eye, and all of a sudden I think that they're going to do it, but then before I could even, and there's a, and there's a, and there's a crowd that's a show thing, and I don't know what, and then I got scouted, and of course I was, and then before I could, it makes me so angry. I like cherries, though. Can you dig it? Oh, of course you can. You know what really tweezes my eyebrows in the middle? When people say they're head over heels in love. That's not so special. I tell you, and I fall in love. Oh, my heels are over my head, and my elbow's behind my back, and my foot is back up behind my ear, and my other ear sometimes moves down to my hip. Now that's love, I tell you. That's real love. I'm lonely. And we end our fantabulous show, as always, with a ranting Swede! I'll tell you something that bathes my cat, but good. I go into the grocery the other day, and I say to the vegetable man, well, I like yellow grapefruit, not the pink grapefruit. And he says, suit yourself. I'm supposed to suit myself? Oh, no, it's so complicated. You have to cut, and you have to stitch, and everything has to be just the right. And there's double stitching. And then, what if I finish it, and it's last year's style? I'd have to alter it. Now, that's 100% of your daily requirement of Ranting Swede. All right, folks, that, that's a wrap. Great job, everybody. Remember, we start the next episode uh, directly after lunch. Right, thanks. Nice ranting, sweet. Well, I just call them like I see them. <laughs> <laughs>